Coach, um, third straight game that you guys have opened the scoring and third straight game with a sort of similar score, but it certainly felt different tonight. Is that sort of how you saw it as well? Well, from the outside, it looks like it's the same, uh, same kind of uh, process that happened. Scored a first goal and they came back and scored two. Their power play is really good. And uh, they took advantage of their power play again. So, uh, but I felt we had good scoring chances. Um, you know, we came out the first, uh, first five, six minutes, they were pushing hard and we weathered the storm. And then the last, uh, I'd say the 12 minute mark of the first period, we were moving right, we were moving the puck, we were driving the net. Um, but we're not finishing around the net. Uh, you know, it's the routes are right, uh, but around the net, we're just not finishing right now. Certainly felt like there wasn't a lot of space, especially in the first, as you sort of mentioned there. Then it sort of opened up, and uh, as they started to come back a little bit, how do you sort of counteract that as the game goes on? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a team that uh, it's a team that like to they they will stretch you, like they will try to create a gap between our forwards and our D by sending one or two guys. Um, and, and they have that kind of team, uh, lots of speed offensively. So I, th I thought we opened up a little bit the second half of the second period. Um, and this is not our game. Um, but after the second, it's 2-1. 2-1 hockey game, we're in this game. It's a you know one shot and it can be in the net. It's a 2-2 hockey game. If you score a goal, we just you know bring the puck to the net and then trying to find ways to bring the puck in the offensive zone. Um, we did it consistently, um, but again, around the net, we need to find a way to finish. It's, uh, that's, there's a pi price to pay to score goals, and then we need to pay it. We've talked before about uh, Julian Melchiori coming back and playing well for this team, scored a big goal for the team tonight, and just continues to sort of exceed expectations based on his injury. Well, yeah, it uh, started, uh, started with uh, a good breakout, um, good motion. We, we were building our speed from that moment and um, good, good uh, rush attack. I thought Chase DeLeo played a solid game again and uh, Julian was at the right position using his speed to uh, join the rush and it was a good shot. So that's the kind of play where we want to see more often, uh, making sure we break out and, and stay in groups of five. Um, and we, we want our D to join the rush. And, and Julian, you know, he's, um, I thought he was a solid, uh, he played a solid game tonight. Uh, as you said, the D joining the rush was uh, a factor tonight, both Jan Kostelak and Shell Debbie Baudouin jumping in as well. Uh, is that part of the 11 7 format that you're able to get a little bit more jump out of your D? Well, it, it's not necessarily our D. It's, um, Having um, a guy that, um, and we used it against Rin Rapids, but it, it's we have to double shift the player uh, in order to play four lines. We still play four lines, uh, but we want to double shift a guy that can create offense, and, and that's basically what we're doing. But at the same time, um, we we wanted to cover uh, Baudouin. That was his first game back and we weren't sure how it was going to go and having seven defensemen was part of it. And, and the byproduct of, is that, of that is uh, having a bit more energy, um, especially the second half of the game. So the D can still go back and retrieve, uh, retrieve pucks and, and join the rush. But you know, there's, joining the rush is, is a concept and it's a, it's a way of playing, but um, it's, it has to be done in a smart way. Um, you don't want four guys attacking the net, uh, not, not against those guys, because they will transition and they will create two on ones and three on ones again. So there's a, there's a, there's a concept behind it, but when it's there, we want them to do it. And Julian did it uh, pretty good on the goal again on the goal four. Uh, when people look at the stats, they're going to see Colin Delia's uh, play throughout this series. But your goalie was pretty stellar in the second period tonight, facing 21 shots in that frame alone. Yeah, he, um, Eric Comrie has been pretty good for us. Uh, I think he's been outstanding the whole uh, playoffs so far. And uh, again, um, came up huge for us. He's 
He's fight. He's battling hard. He's moving quick. He's giving us a chance to be in the games. That's for sure. And then finally, I just wanted to ask. This season, we've talked a lot about development and seeing the players in different positions. No more pressure position than going into game four on Friday. Um, is there a little bit of excitement in seeing who's going to respond? Well, for sure, for us, the organization, and absolutely, um, this is where we wanted to be in the playoffs. We wanted to be in a position to evaluate our players. Uh, not only the prospects, but the guys that we want to keep, um, you know, the, the, the older guys and see how they're going to respond in, in games like today and, and the game, uh, the next game. And that, that's, you build your season on those games and then the confidence you want to build during the season is for those days and see who can come up big in those games. And, and um, you know, it's, it's a different animal. And, and, uh, but you're building the mindset the whole season for those games. And, and next game will be very interesting. It's exciting for us, for sure. Obviously, we don't like where we are. Um, we're against the wall, and it's going to be a, a, an emotional game. And But it, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to respond well and who's going to well, hopefully everybody responds well. Uh, that's the key. And that's why we, uh, we put ourselves in those positions the whole year. Um, so we give the players the tools to respond properly when, when the game is on the line. And in the past, when we had to win a game, we did. So it's exciting for us, for sure.